Welcome to Linux Lab tutorial. In this video, we are going to see about how to manage KVM virtual machines through command line. KVM allows us to control the virtual machines by using command line. Now let's see how to create and manage virtual machines by using command line. There are two commands we are going to see in this video. Now I will open the manual page for first command. Man space VARSH. Now hit enter. Here you can see the description for this command and the options we can use it. Now the second command man space hit iPhone install. Here also you can see the description for with iPhone install command and here are the options we can use it. Now let's install a virtual machine through command line. Before that, we need to configure a storage pool for installing a virtual machine. Now run the following command to configure storage pool. Now type this command. This is the default path for KVM to store the virtual machine images. Now here I mention the pool name as CentOSVM. Here also we need to mention the same name. Here I am creating a new pool called CentOSVM. You can change this path as per your need. Now type the command like this and then hit enter. Here you can see now the pool sent to SVM is defined. Now run the following command to see the status for the pools in your machine. Now type this command and then hit enter. Here you can see the status for the pool sent to SVM. Now it is inactive and the auto sort is not enabled. This is the default pool which is active. And the auto start is enabled. Now run the following command to build the newly created storage pool sent to SVM. Now type this command with your pool name and then hit enter. Now the sent to SVM pool is built. Now run the following command to change the state to active for sent to SVM pool. Now type this command and then hit enter. Now the pool is started. Now run this command to here you can see now the CentOS VM pool is active now run the following command to enable auto start for the pool CentOS VM now type this command and then hit enter now check the status here you can see now auto start is enabled now run the following command to view the all information for CentOS VM pool now type this command and then hit enter. Here you can see the information for CentOS VM pool. Now run the following command to create disk image for the virtual machine. Now type this command and then hit enter. Now the disk image is created. Now let's create virtual machine through command line. For that run the following command to create a virtual machine through a command. Now type this command here. We need to mention the name for the virtual machine and then this is the path for the disk image we have created early. If you want to install the virtual machine in a graphical mode means we need to mention iPhone iPhone graphics space spice and here this location mentions the source for the installation packages for the virtual machine. Here I am using NFS server. This is my server IP address. This is the directory. Here I am using network install. You can use local install by specifying the local path where the installation packages are located. Now type this command and then hit enter. Now the installation is starting. Now here I can see now it's starting the booting process. Now here you can see the installation wizard. Here you must choose your language and then click continue. Now configure each and every step here as per your requirement and then click begin installation. Now the installation process is started. Here you need to set root password and then create user account. 
now the installation is completed now click reboot now the virtual machine is rebooting here you can see now the guest installation is complete now it's restarting now the virtual machine is booting now the machine is started booting now you can log into the machine now click here to close this console to open the machine again you can click here and open virtual machine manager here you can see now the virtual machine is currently running now click here to open the console for this virtual machine here you can see now let's close it and turn off the machine and close this now I will show you how to manage this virtual machine by command line now run the following command to show the list of virtual machines we have created in KVM now type this command and then hit enter here you can see currently I have one virtual machine sent to a 7 and it is turned off in this virtual machine's configuration file is located here here you can see this is the virtual machine's configuration file to edit the configuration for the virtual machine run the following command now type this command and then hit enter here you can edit the configuration for the virtual machine sent to a 7 and then you can save the file and close it to display information for the virtual machine you can run the following command now type this command and then hit enter here you can see the information for this virtual machine sent to a 7 now here you can see the virtual machine is turned off to turn on this virtual machine you can run the following command now type this command and then hit enter now the virtual machine sent to a 7 is started now it's currently running in the background to open the console for this virtual machine you can run the following command now type this command and then hit enter here you can see the console now run the following command to see the CPU usage for the virtual machine now type this command and hit enter here you can see the CPU usage for the virtual machine now press Q to quit now run the following command to shut down the virtual machine now type this command and then hit enter now the virtual machine is going to shut down so this is how we can able to manage KV virtual machines through command line thank you for watching